Hey everybody and welcome to my first video on my booktube channel. Hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully it's the um, name I want for this channel, but I haven't sorted that out quite yet. It is the 1st of February, but it is going to be later for when I post this. And I've decided that I want to share with you my February TBR and kind of tell you what I read in January. Uh, I'm at the library right now, so I'm going to go and pick up some books that I planned to read for February. So, let's go.
back and I checked out a lot more books than um, I was planning on. I was planning on doing three and instead I got seven. Granted, four of them are kind of short, so they'll hopefully be quick reads. And then I have three thicker ones. And then I also have an ebook that I'm currently reading and an audiobook I'm currently listening to. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and then I'll go home and then I'll talk about all the books that I have. I guess I'll start with what I read in January. I read uh, nine books. Three of them were audio. Four. I'm a liar. Four of them were audiobooks, and the rest were ebooks. Yeah. So I read Women Who Run with Wolves. That was a really quick audiobook. I really liked that. Uh, the next one was we make the beast beautiful or something like that. I don't like that one. So I don't remember the title. And then I listened to two, the first two of the Tristan Strong series, which I love. The narrator is fantastic. So if you want to put that on your TBR, it's middle grade. It's so good. It's so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend Tristan Strong. It's, it's such a great series. Uh, the third one came out. It is available, but I kind of want to wait for the audiobook because the narrator is fantastic. So I'm hoping there's an audiobook for it, but if there's not, I'm gonna check out the actual physical book. And that was it, because that's the two. And then the other things I read, <coughs> sorry, I didn't necessarily read in January, but I finished them in January. It was the third book of the Greystone series. Uh, it was called The Deceivers, I believe. It was pretty good. And then I also finished Breasts and Eggs. <sighs> I'm. I feel very meh about that. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. It was just very like meh. So how many is that? Well, that's four. Then I read Among the Beasts and Briars. That one is fantastic. I highly recommend that. Super quick read. I really liked it. Uh, I also read Incendiary, which is part of a series. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, it is a duology, I believe, so I have to... I want to read the second one, but it's not available in any of the libraries near me, so I'd have to, like, interlibrary loan that one. And then the last one... Shoot, what was the last one? Okay, the last one was uh, The Beatrice Letters from Lemony Snicket. So, that one's also a really super quick read, so... Yeah, overall I enjoyed everything I read in January, with the exception of the We Make the Beast Beautiful or whatever. I would not recommend. I will write down all the books that I mentioned in this video down below for you so you know with the author so you know what's what. And yeah, so my goal for the year is just to read basically four books a month, so like 48 books in total. And I'm already like so far doing really well, so that there's that. And usually for my like I don't really have set TBRs. I just kind of, I'm a mood reader, I guess. So I just kind of check out books that I feel like reading and then I just read them in whatever time I read them in. But for February and subsequent history months, I am choosing to read specifically for those history months. So since February is Black History Month, I decided to choose Black and African authors to just read for the month. And then like, I'll do the same thing for Asian History Month, uh, Indigenous, history month and then latino history month latine latin history month sorry <laughs> and possibly pride month we'll see there is a lot of i realized i have a lot of like sapphic romances <laughs> in my tags so maybe i'll have that like set for that too i'm not 100 percent positive on pride month though but for sure the other like racial ethnic history months I do have planned especially since I am a minority too so I want to make sure I am reading minority voices I do not only read um minority voices for like the specific months I've read I read them throughout the whole year so don't get weird about me choosing it for specifically these months I just wanted to make sure that I do have those and I think it'd be a good idea for everyone to just make sure that they are reading varied voices and specifically minority voices because there's so many white male authors and I'm like I don't need to read all of you so 
Anywho, I will tell you all the books I did check out. Oh, I did technically start two of the books I have on Libby before February, so the audiobook I'm currently reading is Ray Bearer. I'm so excited. I really like the narrator so far. It's really good. I think I'm like 20% in or maybe a little less than. I like it so far. I'm really happy I chose to read it, and I will be reading the second book in it, or uh, listening to it, really, because I just, I like the narration, so super hyped about that. I did start that uh, at the end of January, technically, and then I also started technically the, at the end of January Ace of Spades, which I am really liking so far. I'm about 25% in, and it really is giving me Karen McManus is like one of us is lying one of us is next vibes and then it's been compared to like or it's like reminiscent of like get out and I personally never watched get out but I know the premise of it and I can definitely see it's like one of us is lying one of us is next smushed in with get out and so it's really good so far I'm really excited I've heard I've had it on my like radar since I think the middle of last year I just haven't gotten to it so I made sure like I kept putting it off because one my libraries were like closed for a while and then two it was just like this waitlist was humongous on it in Libby so I'm just like okay I'll just wait I'll just wait till it's like the like new book hype is has died down then I'll check it out and then I got really lucky that it was available on Libby so I checked it out and then <laughs> Literally, like, that same day, there was, like, one person is waiting. I'm like, well, that person can wait. I got lucky, and I got to check it out. So, anywho, now onto the physical books I have, which are, <laughs> there's a lot more than I was expecting. I was planning on only checking out three, maybe four, and now there's, uh, seven. So, there's that. So, I'll start with these ones, because these ones are thin, and they're part of a series. So this is Binti by Nettie Okorafor. It's like super, super short. So I hope these are just going to be quick reads. And I believe it's like sci-fi. Yeah. And this one's Binti Home. And then this is Binti the Night Masquerade. And this is the third and last one. So they get progressively thicker. <laughs> but they're still pretty thin. And I hope they're not like super difficult to read. Apparently, uh, prepared to fall in love with Binti, Neil, Ga Neil Gaiman, and we love Neil Gaiman. Okay. <laughs> the next one I have is My Sister the Serial Killer from Oyinkan Braithwaite. This is also much smaller than I thought, like both in size and in girth. <laughs> so I thought that's why I just decided to pick out more books, just because this one's just like much thinner and smaller than I thought. So... And then the three books I was, <coughs> sorry, I like just woke up. The three books that I had planned to pick up, and so here we are, is White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. I did read On the Come Up last year, and then I've never read The Hate You Give, but I did watch the movie a couple years ago. But yeah, I really liked On the Come Up, so if that's another wreck for February if you want to read more black authors. I really liked On the Come Up, not gonna lie. And then I also have Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. So these I'm really excited to read. The three that I intended to get are all quite thick comparatively <laughs> to the other three, so, or four I should say. So yeah, that is my February TBR. Uh, hopefully I can read them that's what, okay, so that's seven, nine books in the month of February, considering it's short. But uh, if I don't finish it, I'm just going to roll them over into March, and it's, like, not a big deal. For me, it's not a big deal. I don't have some, like, big lofty goal of having, like, a hundred books read. Like, if I can do, if I can hit my goal 48, I'd be pretty happy. Last year, I read, like, 60, a little over 60 books, so I think 48 is a very doable goal. I am planning on doing other videos about kind of like my reading journey and stuff, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, please let me know what's on your February TBR because I would love to know. And if you have any author recommendations for any of the history months, like Black History Month, Asian History, and Pacific Islander Month, Latin History Month, or Indigenous Native 
Heritage Month, I would love to know because, yeah, I think we all need to expand our reading. I will say last year I read predominantly female authors and I'm really proud of that. So, <laughs> anywho, because that's like my, okay, my goal last year was just to read female authors, to focus on reading female authors and I successfully did it. Like over 70% of the authors I read were women, so. But <laughs> this year I'm going to have like some organized like TBRs for specific months and then all the other months are just going to be vibes. So <laughs> whatever I feel like reading, I'm going to pick up, so. Yeah, but I would love recommendations, especially for minority authors, especially. So, I'm also really open to all genres. I, I'm i not, like, really strongly against any genre. Like, I'm, like, iffy on romance, but I'm not, like, against romance. So, that's probably, like, the only one that I'm, like, ah, on. But I'm open to all genres and all authors. So, let me know down below some author recommendations and what's on your tbr i would love to know anyways i just repeat myself about 14 times thank you so much for watching and joining me on my little library visit even though it was really short and quick and thanks for joining me to listen to me talk about my tbr once again i will write down all the books and uh, their authors down below so you kind of know where it is because sometimes it's hard because some books have the same name and so you're like oh which one is it when people don't tell you the author so it. I'm going to get ready for work and eat and stuff. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.